Hey, good morning everybody. This is our Mindset Monday video. Today I'm going to go over um, our dojo origin story. Uh, you guys seem to really like the uh, story I gave you about the um, name, how our name came about. So I think I'm going to tell you about our dojo origin story. Um, but first, don't forget, I had put a link in the description for the best in bucks. Remember, we have a contest going on where you'll get 25 um, an Amazon gift card for $25. If you vote for us on Best in Box and then put it in the description, I voted. Remember, voting is over on Wednesday. Next Monday, for our next Monday meeting, I will uh, you know, select somebody to be the winner of that $25 gift card. Um, we've had amazing results. I mean, tons of people are already voted, but don't miss out. All right, also, uh, we have our dojo t-shirt design uh, we are looking at. We have a little contest going on in our Facebook group. And what you have to do is you just have to go and pick which picture you want like the best. So you just, um, we have three different designs for a shirt. They're all very similar, but pick which one you like the best. And when you like that, we're going to enter you in for another drawing that we're going to uh, draw for two weeks from now. And that is going to be for one of our new free t-shirts. Okay? Um, so don't forget. So vote for us. Put I voted in the comments. And then also go on to our Facebook private group and like the t-shirt that you like the best. All right, guys. So here's our dojo origin story. And it's very simple. Um, I basically started uh, my own karate training when, in 1980 when I was nine years old. And um, I, I've done karate you know, throughout the years. And when I was a young uh, person you know, in my teens or you know, uh, from nine on, I used to have this uh, idea that Dublin had nothing to do, you know, it's a typical teenager, <laughs> and, um, and that they needed a karate dojo in Dublin. So many years, fast forward many years later, is when I was working at a gym, still doing karate, working at a gym, teaching in Lambertville, New Jersey for a gym, um, karate. And I found out that the gym was closing. Hey, thanks for all the likes, I love it. Um, so I was working at this gym and the gym was closing. So I thought to myself, well, I wanna to continue to teach. And at that point, I realized that um, my hometown, Dublin, I, I might as well go back to my hometown in Dublin and start a karate school. Now, um, it took a lot of work and maybe I'll, in the future I'll tell you about you know, my journey to getting to the point of actually starting the school. But we started over here at a church and then when the school got bigger I, I went into a full-time uh, facility. But one thing that I really discovered about teaching karate all these years, okay, or actually taking karate all these years, is that karate gives students things that school doesn't. So school is great at teaching math, science, English, those kind of things. But in order to be successful in life, everybody needs a little bit of training in other areas, you know, focus, discipline, setting goals, perseverance, those kind of things. And those are the kind of things that I feel that karate gave me over all the years that really helped me out. When I went to college, I did really well in college. And I don't think it was because I was intuitively smarter than everybody else. I just had the discipline to sit down and do the work I needed to do. And then later on, I had a corporate career for many years. And I thought that it was very, I uh, was very successful in that area. And a lot of that success was because of the things that I learned from karate, you know, being focused, discipline, responsibility, perseverance, um, any of the, you know, buzzwords that you can get for karate, I felt helped me out in life. So pretty much what our karate school is about is giving those things back to anybody who joins our program. Uh, so I hope you like this story. That was basically kind of how the school got started. Um, I think in the future I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail because there's a, it wasn't as easy as it might sound like um, and, and maybe it'll be interesting for everybody to hear that. Um, so that's our dojo origin story. Um, now don't forget, okay, I'm going back to Best in Bucks competition. Look in the description, you'll see a link to our Best in Bucks. Make sure you vote for Maximum Impact Karate Dublin PA and also go into our Facebook private group and vote for whichever t-shirt uh, you're most interested in 
and then you will somebody I'm gonna do a drawing and somebody is going to win a free t-shirt okay guys I know this was a quick one but um, leave some comments below I'd like to hear what you think talk to you soon